What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with Droid Modder X and I've had uh, quite a bit of time with the Honor 8X and the main question that most of you guys have is how does this $200 phone perform when gaming? Now while this phone is not the most powerful phone that is out there on the market, it is no slouch either. It includes the Chiron 710 processor, which has an octa-core CPU and also includes the Mali G51 MP4 GPU. This phone is not currently compatible with Fortnite, but after having used this phone and and I've thrown all types of games at it. I don't see why Fortnite wouldn't be able to build compatibility for this phone later down the road. We'll start things off here with a very low intensity game. This is Flick Golf and it's taking up pretty much no resources on the phone. And as you can see, we're not having any kind of trouble playing a low intensity game like this. Another game that I like to play on the Honor 8X is Red Ball 4, another low intensity game. These kind of games the phone will have zero problems with whatsoever. The next game that I tried here is Tekken and it's certainly not going to be maxing out the GPU on this phone. In fact, I had no lag or stuttering, no lost frames at all, which is pretty important for a combat game like Tekken because if you do miss a frame or if you have a little bit of lag or stutter, then you could easily lose a match. You're not gonna see any of that in Tekken. It handles Tekken with no trouble whatsoever. And that's with, you know, half an hour of gameplay and I never saw any freezing or lag. Moving right along, we tried out Asphalt 9 on the Honor 8X, and this is a much more high intensity, high graphics game. I went into the graphics settings and purposefully set them all the way to max. When I first installed the game, it by default put it on the medium setting based on the internals in this phone. But I have to say that even after you know half an hour of playing Asphalt 9, I saw no lag, no stutter, and no frame dropouts. It's able to play Asphalt 9 with no trouble whatsoever, which is pretty impressive for a $200 phone, considering that this is a pretty high graphics game. The last game that I tried here is PUBG, and PUBG has to be by far the highest intensity game when it comes to graphics. And for the most part, um, after about 15 or 20 minutes of gameplay, I didn't see any stuttering, lags, or frame dropout, but when I hit that 30 minute mark, and when I got a little further into the game, I did begin to see a little bit of stuttering and frame dropout. It wasn't really enough to make a difference, and that's only when I had the settings set to HD. It wouldn't allow me to go to the highest settings in this game because of the hardware on the phone. It had me set at medium. As long as I was playing at medium on the graphics settings, I noticed zero lag, zero stuttering, and zero frame dropout. It's only when I went to that HD option and after about 30 minutes of gameplay did I see a little bit of lag um, here and there. It would be like every five minutes we'd get a frame dropout. Can be a big deal if you're in the middle of a kill, uh, but if you're just simply running around the map, one frame dropping out is not going to be a huge issue. Overall, I think that the performance on PUBG was spectacular considering the price. And if you don't mind bumping it down to medium, you're never gonna see any performance issues on this game. Overall, I have to say that I was very impressed with the graphics performance 
on the Honor 8X, especially considering the price tag of about $200, you really can't beat it. If gaming is one of your main concerns, then I think for the most part, you're gonna be set on the Honor 8X. The only really big downfall is the fact that you're not going to be able to play Fortnite for now. That about wraps it up for this video. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me over on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks guys for watching, be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.